The story of Devon's wild beavers is an incredible one. For Devon Wildlife Trust, it's taken many people, many hours to keep these special animals here living free in Devon. But it's been worth it. We now have the first breeding beavers in the English landscape for hundreds of years, something we're very proud of. You'll see from this short film that this pride is shared with the local people, without whom this remarkable story could never have happened. It was about two years ago now that I was walking down by the river and I saw some trees that had been gnawed near the bottom. So we decided we'd put some of my wildlife cameras out and lo and behold, the first night, there it was. It was a beaver. Really happy that the beavers are back. I think it's great, yeah. absolutely brilliant. Local people are very supportive and very excited. The whole community has just been so enthusiastic. I've not seen them in the wild. No. We run a park that's open to the public with native species. We put them here in 2007 ourselves in an enclosure for that very purpose of education. Beavers are what we call a keystone species. By that I mean they're a type of animal that adapts the environment. So behind me is a wonderful area of, of rewilded natural beaver habitat. The reason why we get so excited about beavers is because they do this, they create habitats. All the water you can see here is created by the beavers, cutting down trees, building dams, and this is great for so many other animals. They're creating a big sponge here, so it's holding water back and reducing the flooding downstream. It's, it's just incredible. These ponds that have been created by the beaver dams are slowly releasing the water through dry times. So this canal has been completely built from scratch. They've gradually dredged it out and then raised the water level so they can now use it as a, as a, a canal really for moving wood and, and themselves through the site really quickly. This is the sort of thing that would have been much more common 400 years ago beavers coppicing willow. What's happened is that it's resulted in the regrowth of all this young willow. The sunlight can get to the area and you then get other things growing up. They've really opened out the canopy and we've got a whole load of new plants. They're not trying to destroy their own habitat, they're, they're, they're within it managing it. And they were taking it in turns to cut this tree down. So they'll use it for material for building. We get a lot of people asking about the beavers and a lot of people who want to go and see them. We do evening beaver watches, um, small groups. At the beginning of last year we set up our safari tent which is um, for glamping accommodation. Last summer was absolutely mad for us. We had people coming down to stay to want to go and see if they could find the beavers. Yeah, it's done the local businesses really good. As business owners here we, we think it's a fantastic thing that the beavers are on the river. A lot of our customers come because of, well, because of the setting, the local countryside. It is going to benefit everything in the area. Interested, excited, but yeah, some have concerns. You know, people thought that beavers ate fish and, mm. and were going to kind of threaten fish stocks. Beavers, of course, do not eat fish, so the remnant fish that are here are quite happily living within the beaver enclosure. Apart from the, the odd tree that's come down, uh, the no, small willow trees, not, not a major great impact at all because it's quite a small population. The, the way the beaver is, the fact that it stays in the river bank, I don't feel, I don't feel there's no issue. Yeah, certainly there's a lot of interest from, from, from local people. It's just the huge amount of commitment and enthusiasm from the local community, from school teachers to all the school children in Ottery St Mary. Bring back beavers! Where does a beaver spend almost all of its time? The beaver project has been unbelievable, uh, to be honest. There have been six schools involved in the River Wildlife Champions, but they all pretty much chose the beaver. Um, our cousin has been working on beavers to try and bring them back. I was just walking my dog by the river with my dad, and um, by the river back we saw a brown thing strolling fast. Very recently the beavers in the river water had babies. And there's two or more. They have orange teeth. Look at those teeth! Imagine all that biting power that's going into that. They went crazy for it. Uh, they wrote songs, they performed, they've been out in the community telling people about it. Other schools wrote letters to the MPs about it. <laughs> 
huge amount to be done in the uh, outdoor learning and on the ground with conservation itself. So far, all we've seen are positive benefits. The environment and the potential benefits and changes that they could bring. There is a real sense of support for what the Devon Wildlife Trust is doing um, and I think people want to see the beavers thrive.